All right, welcome back, guys. We uh, we just landed down in Texas. My buddy Bryant, who you guys know from the Short Bus Diaries, uh, lives in Dallas. So he's got his boat, and he's driving down here. And he's picking me up, and uh, we're spending three or four days down uh, down on Texas coast, and uh, we're we're gonna try to catch some redfish. There is, there is. We're both pretty unfamiliar when it comes to uh, saltwater fishing, so this will be interesting. What's happening? Are you outside? I'm at baggage claim in like the rental car area. Alright, come in. I'll see you in a sec. What's up, baby? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Right there. All right, well, we just got to our little house here for the next couple days. We threw the bags inside and uh, got the rods all prepped. It's about two o'clock, so we're gonna, we're gonna head out, see if we can get a little afternoon session. It's pretty windy today, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to get in some side channels, hopefully that are blocking the wind a little bit. And uh, we're gonna get after it. Ready to do it? Having never been to the Texas coast, we wanted to get a feel for where we'd be fishing over the coming days. We had looked at this area on a map, but as you all know, things look a lot different on a map than they do in real life. We decided to take it easy this first evening, scout out some spots we'd marked on the map, and make a game plan for the next two days. All right, so we got 5.40 a.m. right now. We kind of had a bit of a scouting day yesterday. We didn't really do too, too much, but we're gonna go get out before uh, the sun comes up. There's like a little gap of no wind from like 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. So we're gonna try to hit that hard. Then the tide will come up and uh, yeah, should be, should be a good day. All right, we made it out on the water just as the sun is coming up. We got a beautiful sunrise. We're about to drive the boat pipe a good 10 minutes or so and find a little slot as the water starts coming down that we can, we can hop into. Uh, it'd be good to point out that Brian and I are both super new to the saltwater thing. We've both been on trips before, but this is like a true, like our first true DIY trip. So we're just kind of figuring it out as we go. Fish over here to your three o'clock. Wow, dude, there's so many pods back there. You see them right here? Yeah, I see them. Cast it literally anywhere in there. See you there. I think they saw us. We're, we're not gonna be able to get close. That nervous water right there. Over right here? Yep. yep. Try to lead them. You got them. you got them pretty good. I don't know what happened. Dude, Betty. See, it's so hard to see right now though. Yeah. The sun was just a little higher. Point your rod towards the bank. Right, 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 right there. There was something that kind of pushed off. It looks like maybe something. There you go. What is 
that? Mullet? <laughs> it's a baby red. Oh, it is? <laughs> you strips at him, all right. Here we go. First red, just an absolute monster. <laughs> first real fish of the day. We've kind of been struggling all day. We got a bunch of clouds here and we we just have like no visibility. And so this guy was just sneaking along the bank. Missed him on the first cast and he kept going. He didn't see the fly. And then just put one right on his nose and he was hooked up. So he got the heart racing for sure. That was, that was awesome. stepped up to try to start pulling and we are now soaked so we just pulled off kind of got the boat just docked over here but if it uh if it doesn't let up here we're probably gonna have to call it for a little bit well we decided to call it there's really no point in sticking out there with this much wind so i think we're gonna run back to the house maybe get on some dry clothes make a game plan and uh, see if we see if we might come back out here in a little bit. All right, well, we just got off the water. We're, uh, we're just washing the, the boat down now and washing the car down. The second half of the day, the wind was honestly just so ridiculous that uh, it really made things difficult for, uh, for the fishing side. But we, uh, we did get a good fish today, which was awesome. My second redfish I've ever caught on the fly, so that was pretty sweet. But we are, uh, we're about to head back to the house. Brian and I are actually recording a podcast, and by the time that you guys are watching this, the podcast will definitely be out. So if you get a chance, go check that out. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning. stay here we've got a lot less wind today than we had yesterday yesterday we had gusts up to like 28 miles an hour and today it's gonna be in the 5 to 10 range so we're excited to get out there and uh, see if we can find some reds today Thank you. 
wow, we worked pretty damn hard for this guy. Just a lot of fish for this little chunkster. Look at that. There we go, little guy. Saw a big old pod of fish over here, just out of the blue. Just turned around, put one cast on him, and he finally ate. We finally hooked up, which is oh, super rewarding for sure. Awesome little fish, though. Well, the tide started coming in uh, a little bit earlier. The wind picked up, and uh, the water just got super muddy, so it really made the Visibility kind of tough for us to see some of these fish, and uh, we really wouldn't see them until we we're right up on them, and then they spook. We've got about an hour left of daylight, so we're gonna we're gonna hop over on the other side of this bridge and try to get away some, from some of this wind. And we've had our ups and downs today, but it was a good day until like maybe two or three when uh, when that mud really picked up and just couldn't see. Shit. Munching on our last kind bar here out of the cooler. And I'm just taking in the sunset over here. It's beautiful, there's ducks flying everywhere. I'm just kind of chilling out, waiting to get to the channel over here so I can rip. But um, it's been a good past couple days. Really, really hard couple days. But this was our best shot today. Glad Scotty was able to get one. But yeah, we're about to go rip back up to the truck and then go probably get some dinner somewhere special or something since this is kind of the last day. So we'll see y'all there. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And let me know what you think about the saltwater videos. I'm still very new to the salt world, but this trip with Brian, I learned a lot, and I'm really excited to get more into it this spring. Also, as I've mentioned before, we are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you enjoy our videos and you're not already subscribed, well, you know what to do. Big shout out to Brian for making this entire trip happen, and we'll see you guys very soon in the next video.